Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a kid's game from Dr. Reiner Knizia called Go Go Eskimo. Go Go Eskimo is a game from Dr. Rana Knizia and published by Tactic. Plays two to six players. Uh, I don't know, it, it doesn't have a time in the box, but we're going to say no longer than 30 minutes. It's pretty quick. And what you're doing in this is you are trying to move these little Eskimo characters, there's six different colors, around the board to catch fish. You're trying to get as much of a certain color of fish as you can to sell each fish for a dollar. One dollar, one point. You're trying to end the game over three rounds of selling fish with the most points. There's a little bit more to it than that, but not a whole lot. So let's just go out to the table. Check it out. All right, so here's a game of Go Go Eskimo, all set up for two players. To set up, you're going to first assemble the board. It comes in three pieces. You're going to like snap it together in a puzzle. So in this format, put the polar bear in the middle, two coins in the middle. You're going to put each of the little Eskimo figures on the appropriate tent. I'll just lay them down so you can see them. I'll lay one down so you can look at it, see what it looks like. And then you're gonna put the icebergs in the appropriate spaces on the board. And you're gonna shuffle up all of these tiles that look like the, you know, the fishing hole, the ice fishing hole. And then randomly flip them face up there. Give each player one of the three fishing tokens, fish tokens, and six cards after you shuffle the deck. And that is set up. So all the player, the setup's gonna look the same no matter how many players you're playing, except you're gonna have, every player's gonna get six cards in that. So this is always gonna look the same. Now let's get started. On your turn, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be playing some cards. A card, so the green card is going to move the green Eskimo. So nobody owns these Eskimos. We're moving all of them around to try to collect tokens. What we're trying to do is we're trying to end the round with a high amount of one type of token or these oysters that are worthwhile to sell them for a coin each to score the most points. And I don't know if those are in the right spot. It doesn't really matter. And uh, then we're going to play a second round, do it again, a third round, do it again. Whoever has the most money at the end of the third round is the winner. So let's go ahead and start playing. When you play cards, you can play one card of any value, or you can play multiple cards of the same color and same number if you want to, to move even further. So let's just go ahead and do what I said. So I'll play this green three. And I'll move this guy three. One, two, three. And then I draw a card. You draw a number of cards equal to what you play. You always have six cards. So then this player, they have these cards and they're gonna play, let's move, they're gonna move green as well. So they're gonna move green two, one, two. And then it'll be my turn. And I am going to move purple two, draw a card. Okay, and then I need to make sure that I drew here. I don't remember if I did or not. I did, good job me. And now they are going to do yellow. I'll move yellow three. Draw a card. And now I'm gonna do something to show you what else you can do. So I said you could play multiple cult numbers of the same color, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move blue two, and I'm also going to move the polar bear. Now what happens when you move the polar bear is it's gonna to go to any of the different icebergs and it's gonna make it so that Eskimo cannot move unless you bribe the polar bear with uh, your highest fish token, then you can move it and you can move that Eskimo if you want to. So right now green is blocked off. I wanna move blue too. So I did that and then I draw two cards because I played two cards. Okay, then this player. Uh, let's see, they're gonna move purple three. So one, two, three. When you get step on a token or pass over a token, you collect it. So they now have three yellow fish and they will draw a card. Back to this player. Uh, I'm gonna do three blue. One, two, three. I get three green fish now, okay. Back to this player. I'm gonna try to play through a whole round so you can see what happens at the end as well. Uh, let's see. 
Let's do, they're gonna do one brown. Try to get Brown into position to score some more points. All right, back to me. Um, two blue. I'm gonna come here and grab two oysters. Because oysters are wild and those are always good. Okay, back to this player. Man, I'd love to get some duplicate cards. Terrible. Two purple. One, two, grab a pink fish. Draw a card. And to me, I will move brown two. One, two. Draw a card. They're going to move. They really want to move green. So let's do. They're going to do this. They're going to play two purples, two purple ones. That'll let them move two. But they also get to move the polar bear. So they will do one, two. They drew their cards. Now they're done. Don't want to look at the polar bear's butt. There you go. Uh, back to me. I'm going to move brown one and also move the polar bear. So let's move the polar bear here. Move brown one. That'll give me four green fish, which I like. Draw a card. This player. Red is not moving at all, so let's bump red up. Red's gonna move four. Two cards. So red's moving four. Not quite to the fishing hole. Then to me, so I'm gonna be a jerk and move red two. Also move the polar bear. So let's move the polar bear to, where's the polar bear? Blue. Nope, I don't want it to move to blue. Let's go to green. So I'm gonna move red two. One, two, take these two green fish. Draw my two cards. Okay, this player's turn again. Uh, we're gonna do two yellow, no polar bears. So just two movement. Draw two cards. Back to me. I'm gonna do two purple. And I have to move the polar bear. So let's move the polar bear to yellow. So I'll go one, two, snag this, draw two cards. Back to this player. They're going to do two green with one polar bear movement. So we'll move the polar bear to red because they really don't want me snagging the red. So one, two, they get this one. Then back to me. I'm gonna do three green. One, two, three. Take the yellow token, draw a card. And they are going to do four brown because they have two, one, two, three, four. All right, they got that. Draw two cards. Then back to me. I really want to move that polar bear. So I'm gonna play this one red. So I'm gonna move the polar bear to here. Then I'm gonna move this here to grab this pink. Draw a card. Back to this player. And they're going to move red three. One, two, three. Draw a card. I am going to. Oh man, I can't move red anymore. I'm going to move yellow two. One, two. Draw a card. They're going to move. Ooh, I almost knocked it with a polar bear. Let's see, they'll move blue two, but they have to move the polar bear. So let's move the polar bear to brown. One, two, they get a green. Draw this and this. Okay, back to me. I'm gonna do a purple three. One, two, three. Draw a card. Back to this player. 
Can we do a couple movements here? Uh, we'll do uh, two red. So one, two, they'll get a pink. Draw a card. Back to me. Oh, let's see. I can do a two yellow. I'll move the polar bear to purple. Two yellow, one, two. That gives me two pinks. Back to this player. Oh, shoot, that's my hand. Dang it. I didn't want to do that. Back to this player. Uh, let's see. They're going to do four yellow. One, two, three, four. So they get all these fish, which is pretty solid. Draw two cards. And then I'm going to do two green. We'll move the polar bear to here. And I move two green. Grab that. Draw two cards. And then, come on. we're going to move yellow three. One, two, three. All right, so that's the end of the round. What happens now is whoever ventured into the end gets two coins. Then what's going to happen is we're going to sell as many fish as we can of one type to try to score the most points. So I, can, I have six of these. Seven, eight of these. So green is definitely going to be what I'm going to sell. So I have seven, nine, ten. These are wild. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. So I'll take all of these, get rid of them. Tokens out. This is going to go back on the board. So I'll take 17 coins. So there's 15, 17 coins. They'll do the same thing over here. I think they have the most yellow. Yes. So one, five, seven, eight, nine. So they'll get nine coins. That comes out. These will come back on the board. And they get nine coins. So we'll give them 10, take one away. All right, then what happens is all the Eskimos go back to the beginning. This comes back here, 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 here. We shuffle up all the tokens, put them back out on the board, put two coins back in the middle. We do make sure we have six cards and then we keep going. We'll sell fish again. Then we'll set it up again. We'll sell fish again. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner and points is money. So that is how you play Go Go Eskimo. Let's go up to the top, see what we think about it. All right, well, that was Go Go Eskimo. First off, I need to talk about the production on this. I love this board. I think it looks amazing. You fold, it folds out like a puzzle piece. You can take these cool icebergs. They drop in here like this. And it looks it just looks awesome on the table. You saw it in the overview. It looks amazing. Um, so I'm a big fan. These little Eskimo characters are adorable. They all have different faces and different color hair, which is a nice touch. But it also, and this is fuzzy. You can't see that very well, but it's fuzzy. But it also references the cards. So... If I'm playing the red card and I have color blind issues or I can't, you know, can't color weak or whatever, it matches the face of the guy, of the Eskimo. So not only are the Eskimos different, they're used as a color blind issue for the cards, which I dig quite a bit. Um, I like these tokens. They're really clear what they are. Four pink fish. Told you exactly where it goes on the board with that. No complaints there. Uh, the cardboard is nice. It's it's a, kind of a weird texture, but I don't really care about that. Coins, fine. Polar bear is angry and cute. He moves around like you saw in the overview. The production of this game is top notch. The only thing I don't love is the box has this hole here. Um, but four of the little characters go in a plastic pack and it keeps it looking cool, I guess. But it's fine. But the production on this top notch I like it quite a bit rule book is easy it's like two pages tells you everything you need to know there's multiple languages in it so if you're not English an English speaker and you speak one of the other languages in the rule book I don't know what those languages are because I'm not good with words but 
if you speak happen to speak one of the languages that's in that book, then you can play this game. It's a really straightforward game. Uh, Reiner Knizia loves the the card play and moving stuff around on tracks. It's kind of what he does, uh, and this one's fun. Uh, I was playing it with my second kid, so youngest kid, and we just got it yesterday. We've already played this game three times, and it's she picked up on it easy. I said you can play one card, or you can play two of the same color, same number cards, and move your character that many total of the cards. And if there's a polar bear, you need to move the polar bear first, then you can move your character. And I told her some of the other rules, which I didn't go into. You can move the polar bear by feeding it some fish if you want to move it somewhere else. Or if you want to move uh, the character that the polar bear is guarding, you can discard your highest fish token to be able to move around the polar bear because he's distracted from by eating, that kind of thing. I didn't go into that because it's just a little side rule. It doesn't matter a ton. She understood the scoring. She knew she had to pick the fish that had the most tokens. She understood that um, these were wild. They could be any fish, which is pretty cool. So this is gonna help kids get into games that are a little more involved. So now she's gonna understand set collection. She's gonna understand playing cards and adding up the numbers. Um, when something's blocked off and you can't use it, she's gonna know a little more mechanisms that are gonna carry over into more family weight games that will make those teaches easy because we played this game. This is a really fun game. For being a kid's game, I could play this over and over and over with my daughter. I like it. It's simple, but yet I still have a good time playing it, and that's what I want in a kid's game. So I'm going to give this a BGM accepted seal. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 on BGG, which is a 4 out of 5 wrenches on our arbitrary wrench scale. That means absolutely nothing. But we like to give it the games that we enjoy, and that's what I'm going to do. So that is GoGo Eskimo from Tactic. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and as always, keep gaming.